Okay, so my first top tip for you is nature and how to include that into a bedroom. Now, for obvious reasons, nature is a great way to inspire restfulness and good health. So having it in your bedroom is a massive plus. The first image that you're going to see is my bedroom and it's a great example of how we included a natural element in the wallpaper just above the headboard. And although it's not, you know, a green wallpaper with a big tree, what we do have is this lovely wallpaper in a light blue color, so almost representing the sky or the sea. And then within that you can see really lovely light white flowers um, and some beautiful birds. So really pulling in nature um, just through that strip above the headboard, but really does feel very natural and very inspiring. We have this really lovely Keats leaf wallpaper that goes throughout the dressing room and it's just sort of sprawled um, in a very natural movement and it feels very light and also very organic and actually sitting in that space, though, you know, I, I never think that the picture does it full justice is a really inspiring place to be and it probably is my favorite space in the house and it's where I keep going to to sit, to relax, to read um, and just to have some real alone time uh, because it does feel like an enchanted garden. Really recently we completed a beautiful project where we did this stunning dressing room and again we've placed some delicate floral wallpaper within some lovely cream frames uh, with a gold beading and actually what we have here is this really light feeling and again of course pulling through that natural element not with any greens we haven't used a color they're all sort of neutral tones but we've really layered those tones up and that whole space uh, just feels very very elegant and very comfortable very relaxing and very serene we did another really interesting project where instead of using a color or using you know the actual plant or even a wallpaper fully lined with flowers and birds and animals we have a waterfall wallpaper and the waterfall is made in pearls cascading down this silk wallpaper that's in this backing of a blue silk and that whole look just you know massively inspires nature and the water and the sense of flow and you know really positive energy in many ways and so that was a really really special opportunity to be able to kind of pull nature through but using a very interesting technique another really interesting way that we brought in nature into a bedroom was again in another project that we recently finished and in that project we've actually laser cut some leaves and a floral aspect just above a headboard in leather so although it's a leather finish we've laser cut into there some bespoke designs of leaves really special effect and something to think about if you can in the next few slides Slides, you're going to see another way that we've pulled in nature again and this time through the color and so in some of the rooms that we've designed rather than you know directly bringing in a natural element what we have done instead is use a really lovely light tone of green um, and layer that up so that we pull in that sense and feeling of the outdoors and of nature another one of my biggest top tips for bedrooms is what I like to do is use quite light colors and quite muted tones so that actually that space does feel restful and nothing pops out as too bold and energizing. I love layering up creams and taupes. And for me, you know, I love that in all kind of schemes. I think it's a great way to really relax the eyes and, you know, it's a beautiful way to live. But that's my personal approach. But then, you know, we have done rooms where we've got really beautiful light blues, you know, like I said, representing the sea and the water. And as long as they're light enough, the room still feels very peaceful and very elegant. And then another great color to use and layer up in terms of, you know, being a softer tone is a green, which again, of course, does feel natural, but, you know, just layering that up with different tones of green, you know, rather than going off and using big, bold colors on different walls and in different areas of the room, actually, again, just feels very relaxing and very calming. And my third biggest tip is, Layering in a room is a great way to make a bedroom feel inviting and warm. You know, we've all seen those adverts with the big duvets where you just want to kind of jump in straight away and you know you go into one of these shops and they've dressed the bed perfectly and again all you want to do is jump right in and actually a really lovely way to do that in your own bedroom is to layer now what does layering really mean because everybody says this and i think people find it a little bit tricky to understand you know does it mean putting lots of 
different shades of the same color? What does it mean when I'm talking about layering fabrics? With layering fabrics, I mean, I'll give you an example on a bed. A lovely way to layer fabrics on the bed is of course, having your duvet and then having a bed cover and then having a bed runner on top of that. So, you know, just those three layers in themselves almost, you know, feels smarter, feels more elegant, but also, feels like you want to jump in. Throwing on casually a really lovely soft throw, again, gives you that feeling of just wanting to jump right in. So just layering up those different materials and you know, each one of course has its own use and has its own function, but from an aesthetic point of view, it really does help you get that warm, you know, I'm home, I'm in my bedroom. You can also layer up where you have a throw on a chair. You can layer up in terms of you know, the, the different materials that you have within your window dressings. And by window dressings, I mean curtains. So for example, you know, not just having your blackout curtains, but having shears and maybe even having another layer of blinds. So all of those different layers really help to not just allow your room to feel more inviting, but also make you feel, you know, like your room is more glamorous and more elegant. The timber that you're using in a room. Now, I like to use wood and I like to use different timber finishes, but I do like to try to use a really warm wood if I can as a frame on a headboard. And I also like to use it, you know, to frame different items in a room. So I love some show wood on a sofa or on a bench. And just having that added timber um, or veneer just gives you this extra feel of elegance and glamour. Another way you can pull in some type of show wood or some timber is actually through your dressing table or your dressing stool, or you might have an odd chair somewhere in the room. You might have a lamp made of wood. And so all of those things are, you know, really important ways to pull in another element that I think is really important to the construction of a great bedroom. My final point, and really this is probably one of the most important things in a bedroom, and we all talk about it, we all know what it is, it's window dressings, which in interior design world in the UK is basically curtains. Why are curtains so important? Other than their very obvious reason, which is blocking out the sunlight, and that is a massive, massive point in a bedroom. You do need blackout curtains, you know, not, not anything new, everybody knows about it, but what's important is to know that there is always that potential of seeping light through the edges. So if you know that might be a problem, to take care of that right from the start. So maybe layer up your curtains, not just in terms of functionality and being able to wake up, you know, when you want to wake up and not 4 a.m. sometimes, is actually making sure that you've dealt with that in advance. So try to get blinds in. If the blinds don't work, there are even sort of stickers that you can now place um, on a window. And basically, you know, you, you don't see the light through in the same way as you would have done without the stickers, layering with shears also, so you've got that extra protection in terms of seeping light through the sun. Other than light, of course, what curtains and shears and blinds also do is create this massive envelope of warmth in a bedroom. And you really do want that feeling, you know, that creation of completeness and of fullness. And I think the only way really to complete a bedroom is by having this layering up of blinds, shears, and curtains. It's such a nice way to complete a room, uh, not just from a look perspective, but also from a functionality perspective. You know, you can use your curtains, your shears, your blinds to even pull in the rest of the decoration and the theme going on in the room, whether that's through a border, a little trim, a pelmet, a double pelmet, a curved pelmet. So there's so many different things that you can do with your window dressings. It's a whole subject on its own. Thank you so much for watching me today. And I am so grateful again to have been able to do this video for you and also for your amazing support. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe and I will see you very soon.